So we are here again, horrific, uh, day three, Rumford Horror 2024, and I'm joined by A.D. Cooper, the director of Stranger Danger. Now, you're no stranger to our festival. No, this is um, my third outing to the to the horror version. Yeah. And my fifth outing to the horror film world here, um, festival here, generally. Amazing, amazing. It's good to have you back, and it's good to see you, and have you on my, my I, I keep calling my couch, but... Um, it's got it's got weird connotations, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> well, you're on your couch and I'm on mine. It's just slightly different. <laughs> so, so how how are we since the last time I saw you? Have you have you been busy? Have you been trying to be? Yeah, constantly more? trying to be busy. Um, I've had a few um, shorts come and go. Things that applied for funding um, didn't get the funding. Applied for something else, didn't get that. So lots of things coming and going, but lots of other things going on. Keeping so. busy though. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. What what is it about? filmmaking in general that sort of feeds your soul and keeps you wanting to do it i think actually the thing that the the best thing is when you hear the audience responses yeah yeah i mean there were some giggles today so yeah. um yeah when you hear people re reacting in the right way yes it's when they react in the wrong way it's a little um, upsetting um, but when they react exactly as you planned that's that's the reward and it went well today yeah, yeah. excellent yeah, excellent yeah, yeah. so let's talk a little bit about stranger danger i'm i'm told um you made this movie like ten years ago? No more. Oh. Two thousand twelve. And they, so so why are we just seeing it now? Well, um, I wanted something to enter. All oh, right. Okay. So and I said to Spencer, "Can I enter a, an old one?" He said, "Yeah, chuck it and see." And and and, and they accepted it. So oh yeah, nothing we all mentioned nothing again. You know, we all enjoyed it. So we're, yeah, we're yeah. going to show it and we're yeah. going to put it up there. Um, how did Prunella Scales come about? How did oh we we just uh, got, had a casting director called Irene East and she cast her. And she was more than happy to jump on. Yeah, yeah. And um, I think she, I don't, I think we just did it for industry minimums or something. She, she was, um, but she was just in the very early stages of dementia. I mean, she's, right, she's, right. she's now well advanced at that, sadly. Um, but she was lovely to work with, very yeah. relaxed. Um, but she, she couldn't remember her lines at all. So you got to a stage where, and she was terribly anxious about it. Um, and we were very kind of gentle. And so, you know, when she got the line pretty well right. Yeah. Because um, if you let it go too, too much, she got more and more anxious about it. Um, but sometimes you literally had to feed her the line. Yeah. She'd then say it, and then we'd just cut me out. She's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. She's really, really yeah, good. she's very good. And yeah. even after all these years, seeing it yeah. up on the big screen mm. and all that and getting shown today, like, mm. are you still as proud as you were the day you finished it? Uh, it was a very, very tricky shoot. Right. It was a very um, uh, angst-ridden shoot. A um, lot of difficulties, a lot of not miscommunication, a lot of bad temper. So it was it was not an easy shoot. Um and the little lad who's in it, who's uh, Roddy, yeah. he's, um, he's, if you're going to look at it again, he's, he's blind in one eye. You'd never know. Right. His right eye is not there. He's, he's a good uh, Glaswegian. Um, uh, and he, there are a few. He's pretty, well, <laughs> he's pretty well out of the industry at all now. Really Talk completely great, out. Great, great. He's, he's in a Ken Loach film. He's done all sorts of really good stuff, but I think he's not doing much at all now. So, so with, with challenges, I always like to ask the question, um, when, when you're dealing with these challenges, and of course filmmaking is always problem solving, but mm. what do you feel like on, on that pursuit in particular, mm. did you maybe learn about yourself as a director? I think I learned a lot, a lot. I need to, before I get on a set with people, I need to know them much better. So I need to know what to expect from them. So it's so stressful being on set um, that there's no real space for uh, uh, people getting cross. Yeah. Because you just need to get the work done. Um, and I think that that was the thing I learned is, is I'm not can to definitely get to know the people to you know exactly what to expect from them, how they're going to behave because people yeah. behave un with under stress quite differently. Yeah, it was it was not not an easy shoot, but but you, hmm. but you got it done. We got it done. Got we got it done. We got it done, and we got it done really quickly because it was for a um, a Virgin Media shorts and it had a very short lead time, so we literally turned it around in about oh something like four weeks. So it was excellent from start to finish. So when I hear people talk like how difficult it was, how challenging it mm. was, but yeah, eventually we got it done. Like I'm not saying talking down on the shot or anything mm. like that or down on your experience there, but I do like to ask when you do see it on the big screen, what are you proud of? What what do you see up there? And you're like, yeah, we actually smashed that and that it was oh, worth it. Well, it, it, it's, a co it's a coherent story with a good flick. Yeah. Um, and I think that's that's um, that's the key to a short film. If you get bored in a short film, it's it's not good. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got to grab them right from the front, and you've got to certainly in horror, you've got to misdirect. You've got to suggest that the the guy is the danger. Yeah. Um, and misdirect and misdirect, and then 
he falls for it. The fool, the fool, he falls for it. <laughs> um, um, and that's, I think that's the key with, uh, that's what, when it's very easy to do what I call blood splat horror. You know, yes. Hurl, hurl a bucket of claret of it. And, yeah. and, um, but if you've got, you know, you don't know what's happening, you don't know what to expect. I think that's much better. It's some of the better storytelling because mm, yeah. you've actually got to work for the joke yeah, rather than yeah. just go for a cheap yeah, trick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah, I, yeah. I can understand what you're saying mm. there. One of the things that I thought when I watched the, um, your short Stranger Danger, I, I, was, I wasn't aware that you'd done it a little while back. Mm. Um, a couple of years ago, we had a short movie called Door, Door Salesman Dave mm. shown at the, the festival. And I thought maybe you'd seen that and you were just like, I hate him. Mm. So yeah. that's where that came from. So yeah. I do want to ask, what was the inspiration for this short and what was the original? I think there's a whole, the whole kind of general dislike of door to door uh, yeah. people who, who ring you up and try and say and my poor old mum had had a lot of people conning her right um and it was my kind of like hmm, well this is what happens when you mess with old ladies kind of stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um and it was that kind of thing is so what if she, yeah there wasn't one or two of them but there were like a whole load of them yeah, yeah. I love that. And, and none of them had grown a beard obviously because <laughs> yeah, they'd been there for months but they were yeah, starving eating each other um and they were all, they were all, um, they were just finishing their acting de degrees, all those guys. All salesmen. Yeah. And they've all gone to, on to do all sorts of things. One of them is producing lots of stage plays. I used another one for, in a, a screen uh, short I did in 2016, 17, that sort of time. Um, another one who's, I might use him someone else. So they've all gone on to really good stuff. Awesome. It's rather nice. Yeah. And, and um, well, I, I suppose you kind of just answered it a little bit there, but what do you want people when they see this show mm. or, or any of your shorts really, mm. but this one in particular, what do you want people to take away from it other than, you know, old grannies will kill you. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> all, all my shorts, I want to make you laugh, make yes. you cry or make you go. Ooh. I want you to have a response. I don't want, I don't want to, you'd go, oh, hmm, yeah, whatever shrug. Um, I want you to actually have a, have a response. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's, there's one or two of them, do, do make you cry and some make you laugh some make you Ooh. yeah and what do, you, what do you prefer making do you prefer making people feel as if they might cry or, or get a little shock or i don't mind oh, no, i just want an emotion i just a want go. a prod and emotion i like yeah. that i yeah. like that yeah. so would you say that that's what spurs you on in your career just... I, I think that all films should do that yeah yeah i mean if you if you think about when you start to watch something on on the streamers um, and you give it 10, 15 minutes and you oh, can't be bothered with this. The same way I, I tried to watch something the other day and in the first minute, four people got their throat cut and thought, do you know, I don't want to watch this. So you've got, you know, you've got to do something that makes people join in. Absolutely. And if, if it doesn't grab you or if it can, you know, counterwise it completely revolts you, then yeah. Yeah, it's, not work. it's not working. It's one of the things I really liked about your show was the mm. fact that you do um, send us the other way. Like mm. you kind of, you are thinking, oh, mm. this guy's, little bit of a wrong and mm. and i do like the way you, you twist that on its head and mm. it's sort of like oh and that and did you notice the name of the cat i didn't know it's called mirage mirror all oh, right okay yeah, all, <laughs> if you look at the background everything is cat orientated right we borrowed every cat prop every little china wood pitch of kitties everything is cats to make That's you brilliant. think there is a cat but there's not and there's not that's no. absolutely brilliant yeah. i like that you got you, me there. You got you got to have layers. You got to have layers. You got to have layers. Yeah. I, I do like. I tend to pride myself on finding them sometimes, but as I didn't spot that, that must, as a filmmaker, make you feel a little bit. Better. Well, if you if you do, you do, and you don't, you don't. Yeah, it still works, but it's just layers of so it kind of kind of hits you on a subconscious. Tea, tea. Yeah. yeah, and then the next time I watch it, I'll be like, yeah. There was. So look, look around. It was all, all there, <laughs> all around her on the back, on the back shelf. There's all flipping little cats. I love it. We borrowed. Every we went to China, shop, you know, charity shops, and bought every horrid little cat we could find. <laughs> horrid <laughs> little cat. <laughs> um, so that that's so there's lots of there's lots of clues. Cool, awesome. Yeah. awesome. And all of that stuff was my granny's china and whatnot. Um, so what that got dusted out, hardly ever used. I, th yeah. I think one question I've never really asked you. We've mm. spoken a couple of times now, and I interviewed you last year as well. Mm. Um, I've never really asked you what your inspirations are. In, in film and, and who you look to when you're oh. when you're looking for inspiration oh I th well i think inspiration's everywhere yeah um i've written a feature film based on one sentence in in a book about world war one nice um a feature 
It's a feature, yeah. And, and, now, and now I've written it as a, as a novel, which my agent said is better than the feature script, which is a bit annoying, but it's hard to read out the feature script now. Um, but you know, I think, I think inspiration is everywhere, and, the, and the, I think the key is to go and what, what a friend of mine calls refill the creative well. Yeah. You've got to go to the theatre, you've got to go to the cinema, you've got to go to art galleries, you've got to go and, and be aware of what's going on. Yeah. Um, and everywhere has got, oh, I quite like the way the light falls on that and the way that happens there. Um, and where, and keep your eyes lifting. Um, yeah. I'm, I teach at Ravensbourne um, on this uh, a module about teaching them about the business of being in the business, so that they're going out into the world ready to yeah. be. And you look at their Instagram thing, and they're not looking at the world. They're not looking at where the sky is doing, where the light's falling. Just taking pictures of their tea. They're taking pictures of their tea. They're taking pictures of their mate doing silly dance. You know, you're not showing me that you're a director yeah. whose whose eyes are lifting, who's who's seeing. And look at the way the fog does that, or look at the way the light bounces off that. I want. That's what I want to see in you as a director. Yeah. Go, oh, it's going to take me time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's part of your job. It's part of your job. It's part of learning, isn't it? Yeah. So, so would you say that's maybe the best bit of advice you could give an aspiring filmmaker? Mm. Yeah, get out and do stuff. Yeah. yeah, and be able to have conversations about that stuff and go to the cinema. Uh, you know, be able to go to a networking event and say, "Have you seen Zone of Interest? Have you seen uh, Oppenheimer? Have you seen Poor yeah. Things? Have you seen? Did you like this, the, the the production design or the way the sound design worked in Zone of Interest? It's straight incredible. Um, there's no music." fantastic film yeah um but you know if you if you haven't you aren't seeing what's being made how do you know you're not developing exactly the exactly. same thing exactly yeah what's your favorite thing you ever shot oh i think it's a poetry film right um which my my friend gary who's sitting um edited for me um and it's about um uh a world war one soldier coming back from the war right against a, a poem by a poet called edward thomas and that's your favourite thing? It's, it's the thing I'm uh, probably the film I'm most proud of. If you yeah. could make absolutely any project that's in your mind, do you have a project? Yes. That, go for it. Yes, I have many, many Obviously projects. Obviously, don't tell us everything no, no. about them. No, I, have many, I have many, many projects that I would like I would like to do. Um, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I just uh, just need to find the right producer and the right, uh, the right way of getting them out there. Oh, yeah, I've got a, a whole portfolio ready to go. <laughs> Yeah, 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 this is what I like about you, Eddie. Yeah. Every time I speak to you, yeah. I, I really like the fact that you know you, you seem brave. Like mm. you, you seem very like I'm forward moving. I'm not. I'm not going to let anything knock me back. I'm not. It, it, like like you said at the start, you you've pitched a few things and and it's maybe not gone that way, and some of them are mm. going that way, but nothing seems to knock you back. What is it that really really feeds you though? Oh, I've just got stories I want to tell, um, and I just want to get them out there. Um, and you know, time is running out. You only get one that one life. You got to crack on. Um, so, and I, whilst I've got the energy, I want to do it. You know, it's a awesome. it's a similar. I just want to. Oh, and I'm a storyteller. You know, so whether I'm telling it on an audio play or a stage play or or a, in a novel or on screen, it's all about stories. Yeah, yeah. People know why they should see Stranger Danger. Check out Stranger. Danger. Check uh, out any of your shorts, um, any of your projects, because they'll make you laugh, make you cry, or make you go ooh. I like the ooh. I, I always like to go ooh when I'm watching something. But um, and and um, let people know where they can find you oh, and other projects um, of you yours. Can, you can if you go to hutchinfilms.com, which is spelt H-U-R-C-H-E-O-N mm -hmm. films.com, you can find all sorts of uh, showreel and all sorts of uh, my shorts. And Hutchin is the old English word for hedgehog. Also, nice. old Scots. Ah, I'm from up that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. Thank you for bringing us this. And, and I know you maybe made it 10 years ago, but I'm mm -hmm. always happy to see a project that you're mm -hmm. submitting to us and, mm -hmm. and we love showing your stuff. So. Well, thank you. Thank you for choosing me again. We always will. Yes. You just you, you put, keep churning out great stuff. Beautifully crafting, not churning, please. <laughs> <laughs> Mind, if you make a turkey, we will tell you. Well, <laughs> you won't see the turkey. They get strangled at there. <laughs> but thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, that's Romford Horror, day three. And AD, thank you so much for doing Thanks this. Thanks so much. See you later. <laughs>